This is my corresponding line. Yeah, mark it there. Then after that, we have this one here. Then here. Here. Print on it. This is the corresponding line. Good. So then we have this. So to the plan, this is the corresponding line. This one here. You can see I jumped this line to this line because this one is for this one here. So good. That's for this. I'm done with this upper part of the plan, which is this part on the elevation. Oh, sorry. Let me see if I do this thing right. Okay. Okay, I'm right. I'm right. Now there's one I need to pick also, which is on this one that falls on the same part, which is here. So you can see we have one and two here. So and they all follow the same projecting line downward to the plane. And that was why I picked this, and I also picked this on this this particular line here one two all right let me label it for better understanding all right this is point one point two point three point four point five point six point seven point okay eight and this is it here one two three Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, and the next one is this one below, which is the same thing here. What I've picked here from here to here. That shows it from here to here again. That's why I'll pick it. This is the plan. So it shows the two sides, the two sides of the object. So that's why I'm still picking the same height here. That's just that is this is the front. Let us see. If this is the front direction, the other side of the front, let us see. If it fits another direction, or the back of it, this, if this is the front, the back of it is what we going to put here now. So if we are taking this at the front, then the back here. So more. So so now take the same measurement. That is what we have here. What I did here. Okay, so see the line it follows. This line. You don't put it there. Then the next one is this one. Good. Then followed by this line here. This point. This point. So, okay. Then follow by this. Just there. So it's P5. Let me see if my said also taking the same measurement as it is here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm interested to this part and see what I have. Okay, push it back here. Here, okay, same as the server.
session recently with this PHA. Yeah. Good. Good. Now I've projected all my point on the auxiliary elevation. So the next thing is to draw join the points together. To draw the points together. The next thing is to draw, draw the point together. All right. Now, as you can see, this point one and point for the other part. Let me say this is my C, D, E, F. Now for on this other line. Okay. Let me join. Now also this part P to six is joining together. That's it. So I will still trace this line back here. Six and seven. Join it together. So join it together. Then P to three, which I will use my French curve to do. Okay. Let me get my French curve to join those curve lines together. All right. Now the next thing to do now is to use your French curve to join the points together. Use your French curve to join the points together. Which are now here point P1 to the ground line is showing so also on the auxiliary we are also going to show it also on the auxiliary we are going to show it so here good so French curve to join here and here together. Well, sometimes make sure you set your French curve to pick the three point, maybe three point at least three point. is here to here no so four to five and five to six okay okay Sometimes they say they also stay something like this. Okay, that's that. Then I'm also going to do the same thing to this part here. Now, here to here is showing. At least now. This part of our plan is showing. This part is showing on the plan. That is from here to here. It's showing on the plan. So we're going to show it. That's why I'll be extending my line from here to this point here, and also here like this. For this C, it is going to be the same dimension from C to E, which is 40. 40 millimeter. That this is it. This is so to this second line. That's where my 40 will be. Yeah. That's it. And I haven't done that. And here too. I'm also going to do the same thing from here to here. Okay, so now 
we've picked this, we've joined all these points together. Then this one, we're going to join it together because from the front elevation, there's a visible line for it, an outline for it. So P7 and P8, 8.7 and 8 is joined together. Then, followed by, okay, this curve also. Then, now, for this line, for this line here, it's visible. So, okay, this, this one to this part, which is, All right, let's join this curve together. As you can see, it's coming from here. Okay, from here. All right, I want to check something. All right, I'm going to repeat this line. I made it. I did not put it on the corresponding point. All right, from here to here. Okay, and this line here. Okay, then followed by this one, which is on this line, on this line, here, yeah. like this one, is here, this this and this one here okay so then next is this one here let me see if there wasn't any mistake okay all right okay this one's right there already this one's right there already no mistake here so and this one's so correct it's except this part here here is supposed to be on this line but i did it here all right all right um i believe our lines are well picked now the, the one for this line so please make sure as you actually trace your lines very well so that you know where you put your points like this is here so so i think that was here So, yeah, so your line is going to come from here to here. From here. Okay, so it's the extent to this part. So, this one is going like this. And this one. So then I will join this one to straight line. And then that like that. Alright. Now once you are doing this, make sure you are 
confirming your lines as you're picking down. Look at this where this arc I'm meeting is on P2 and P6. Now look at the P2, P6. Now this one is P1. Let's trace it on this line too. P1, P2, P3, P4. Let's see. Okay. P5, P6. P7 and 8. Alright. Now, as you can see, that here, yeah, it's supposed to join with P2, not P1. So, and that was why I'm, I was saying that it looks, this line is too straight. So, so that's why. So, I was like, it was difficult for me to pick my cough correctly. So, it's coming like this. Is it? Is it? So, it's coming like this. That's it. That's it. And that's it. So you see. So then you join. As you can see, this head here is drawn. So we join this edge together. And this one is joined to this. Okay. You have this to this side. So, just trace your work very well. Place. We join to this part. And here we go. Let's trace this one. Our outline is always thick. This is the required outline. All right. So. So you can now retrace your plan, front view, very well. So you trace your front view very well. Here is the required drawing from my egg. Good, and this is a trace your proof. Good, and that is it. Thank you. Here is our auxiliary elevation. And here we have our plan and here we have our front elevation front elevation and that's all thank you thank you